Here's a short version of what happened. Ramsey met with a hat woman. They exchanged money for jewels. So Ramsey didn't just look the other way when the jewels were stolen. Mm -hmm. Right, it was his operation. So, but what about the hat lady? Where was she? When I was heading upstairs, I heard her running out. All right. But here's the thing. When I chased after her, that money was still sitting on the table. When I came back from being shot, the money was all gone. All right. Hmm. Okay, so... So the jewels are missing, the money's missing. The guy with the gun, the house guest, and the woman with the hat. I think she's about ready for her nap. What do you think? Come here, little one. Yes, she's gone. Let's go to sleep. Yes. Yes. I can assure you I have not seen the crown princess. Well, I have reason to believe that she's here. Why? And why would she come unannounced the way you have? Look, I don't know the woman, okay? I've not invited her here, nor would I at this moment. My family is dealing with a tragedy, and we need our privacy, okay? I see. Vicky, you and I, yeah, we gotta talk. I know I'm, I'm unannounced. She doesn't need your life insurance. Have you seen the house? Yes, yes. Come here. Thanks. David Vickers? It's David Vickers. David, no games, okay? I don't know if you know this. I heard. Uh, I'm very sorry about Nash. Thank you. Condolences. Hmm. Get well? Yeah, it's a re-gift. I came from seeing Charlie. Charlie feels really terrible about what happened. What happened? David, do you know what happened? Charlie pretended to be someone that he's not. He lied. He lied to me. He lied to everyone. He lied to Rex. He hurt Rex. And then on top of that, he helped his real son, Jared, perpetrate a fraud on my children. Well, yes, Charlie made some bad mistakes. Maybe you could forgive him. You're so good at that. David, I can't even see Charlie right now. And frankly, you know, this is not your concern. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I made some bad mistakes in the past, too. Same neighborhood as Charlie's. When I pretended to be the Lord heir, then married Tina. He forgave me. Oh, David. There is a world of difference between my relationship with you and my relationship with Charlie. Well, I finally came to terms with the fact that you only wanted me for my body, but Charlie... I think you're in love with that guy. And I admit, at first, I didn't think he was right for you, but you two are good together. You got the kind of thing that, that lasts. Talk to him, at least hear him out. What harm can it do? Oh, coming in without permission, you are so fired. Good, because I quit. No, where's my last paycheck? Wow, that felt good. Stay. Excuse me? <laughs> what did you just say? I was having a really bad day. I didn't want to fire you. I want you to stay and be my right hand. No freaking way. Oh. I wouldn't be so hasty if I were you. You're a single mother, you need the work, and I will pay you very well, better than the Buchanans. What is this? A new game? Wreck your daughter's wedding went so well, you want to double down with keep her enemies close? Well said. You see why I like you? Dad, hi. Hello, everyone. Oh, Dad, when did you start traveling with a posse? Jokes are a little hard to take these days, so if you don't mind, get to it. Fair enough. I want you to drop all the charges against Jared. Have you lost your mind? After what he did to our family, there's no way in hell. Well, I think you might change your minds after you hear the deal I'm offering. Enough. 
of your sick games. And I can't be bought like Brody can. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, save it. I know you and Adriana brought Brody to town, and I know that you tried to pay Brody to leave town. I also know that you were the one that wrote that note to Rex claiming that your own daughter was a liar. Is this the note you're talking yes, about? Yes, that is the note. Mm -hmm. Adriana showed it to me. I did not create it, and I didn't give it to Rex. Baloney. If I'm not denying other actions, why would I be denying this? Because there's something in it for you. Nonetheless, I had nothing to do with this note. could you possibly offer that would make us want to drop the charges against Jared? The name of the real Buchanan heir. Hi, it's David. Vickers. Right. Listen, you and I, we, we should get together. That's my mom. Had some big hair. Hey, blame the 80s. She's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Back then, I was just a baby. I needed her for everything. You know, I've gotten by on my own for so long, but every now and then, I wish she were around. Oh, that must be Breeze. She's going to want it when she wakes up. Yeah, I'll get it to her. Thanks, babe. Mom? I wasn't able to talk my way into Landfair. Don't worry. I will find her. Yes. Yeah, start the transmission now. And again, tell me, how do they figure into this? Got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming in now. 